from begging him to put an end to these snooze fest exhibition fights to wondering if he's doing them just because he's broke. Here's how fans reacted to Floyd Mayweather announcing the heist exhibition tour. First, let's talk about the tour. Mayweather may be 50 0 but this boxer has found a way to keep himself busy. Since his retirement, he's participated in a number of exhibition tours, in which he basically takes on inexperienced fighters for easy money. Last year, he had three such fights, but this year, he's adamant about doubling that figure. That's right, the boxer recently announced that he plans to have five more exhibition shows after the one he just had in the UK, where he brilliantly defeated Aaron Chalmers. The next five exhibitions of his heist tour are planned to take place in South Korea, Germany, Japan, Australia, and the US. The fighter claims that it's all guaranteed money for him because he'll be walking away with the cash whether the fight happens or not. Still, I have to wonder. Who exactly is backing the tour? And more importantly, is this the right move to make? I mean, are these exhibitions high risk or high reward? Before we talk about that, I think it's only right that you know how his recent exhibition show went. Yep, as I mentioned, this was the one against Chalmers, and it took place on the 25th of February. Unfortunately, it failed to attract the desired audience. In fact, out of the 25,000 seats in the O2 Arena in London, 20,000 remained empty. Now, that's got to be embarrassing. So, are these other fights going to meet the same fate? That's exactly what skeptics are so concerned about. If Mayweather's record of poor ticket sales continues, it would mean a huge financial loss for the organizers of the event. Only time will tell whether this tour turns out to be a failure. After all, fans are slowly starting to lose respect for Mayweather as he continues to fight inexperienced boxers just to make some quick cash. This guy has a legacy, after all, and now he's just tarnishing it. So, what exactly do fans have to say about the heist tour? Well, they were happy to watch Mayweather retire and enjoy his millions of dollars of previous winnings. They're not really interested in seeing unentertaining fights where he trashes his unskilled opponents. The exhibition fights just don't provide value for money or the excitement and thrill that fans seek. The empty arenas are just a clear indication of that. After his recent exhibition, one fan wondered who actually even sponsors these snooze fest. Other fans came down on the boxer by attacking his greed. They criticized him for chasing money when he was already a millionaire. One Twitter user in particular suggested that Floyd give away some of his wealth to charity. Yeah, I doubt he'll be doing that anytime soon. Either way, one thing is for certain. Fans are definitely not excited about this tour. They don't want to see the legend tarnish his legacy further. But Mayweather didn't just sit back and take the criticism. He had something to say to his fans. He literally told them to stay in their lane. As I mentioned, Floyd got a lot of criticism when 20,000 seats were left empty at the O2 Arena. But when fans basically told him to stop his exhibition fights, he responded with a picture on Instagram, in which he can be seen relaxing on his sofa. He wrote that he was sitting back with no bumps, bruises, or scars. He referred to his fight as a 16-minute heist, saying that his green print is to constantly make more money. He ended his message by saying, Get yourself a business and stay out of other people's business. Yikes, that's harsh. He's talking to the same companies and fans that got him to where he is right now. Since he's built his entire career on the admiration of his fans, isn't it only right that he respects them as well? Nevertheless, the message definitely left a bad taste in fans' mouths and tarnished Floyd's legacy further. 
If only Mayweather had stopped after his fight with McGregor, fans would still adore him. But now, he's just turned himself into a meme. And it's not like fans and experts are just poking fun at him. Many are seriously turning against him, especially after a recent expository video. The British Muay Thai sensation Liam Harrison recently had an exclusive interview with the MMA Superman, in which he kind of exposed Mayweather. Speaking about why he declined Floyd's invitation to a fight, Harrison spoke about the essence of Floyd's exhibition bouts. He said that these exhibitions are arranged just so Mayweather can make some easy money. He pretty much said what every fan was thinking. Liam also analyzed how the fights were so unentertaining because of the mismatch of talent. Floyd just beats up inexperienced opponents and knocks them flat in a few minutes. It's not something I'd ever pay for. Harrison said that he declined the fight due to an injury, but he wants to fight Mayweather once he's recovered, so he can give him a run for his money. Anyway, Liam's comments just added fuel to the fire. Many fans speculated that the reason Mayweather still has these exhibition fights is that he's broke. And, well, is he? I mean, this guy has over $1 billion of career earnings. So it sounds almost ridiculous to say this, especially since he's posted multiple photos of his luxurious jewelry and watch collections. Just tons of gold and stacks of money. Apart from that, he has an insane car collection that includes five Rolls Royces. The total collection exceeds $2 million. As if that wasn't enough, this guy also happens to have multiple million dollar homes. You'd be crazy if you said he was broke, but looks can be deceiving. And it's often the richest people who are caught in the worst debt. Maybe the fans are actually onto something. In 2018, Chael Sonnen claimed that Mayweather was broke and was only taking on fights because he desperately needed the money. And as an insider, his words definitely carry weight. Sonnen explained that what matters more than what you make is what you keep, and he said that Mayweather was a dumb dumb in that regard because he blew all his money on luxuries he couldn't afford. I mean, this guy has a $14 million watch from Jacob and Company's billionaire collection. So maybe Sonnen's got a point. So how exactly did Mayweather blow his money? According to rapper 50 Cent, gambling and girls always get to Mayweather. That's right, he's a gambler. And I know what you're thinking. Aren't 50 Cent and Mayweather sort of feuding? Yeah, you're right. And he could just be trying to tarnish the boxer's image. But I'll remind you that these two used to be pretty close. So maybe nobody knows Floyd better than the rapper. Anyway, it's common news that Mayweather gambles. Everyone remembers when he won $2.3 million betting on college football in 2012. But while we know his wins, we don't know his losses. It's possible that he's tanked all his winnings. And not just on gambling. I mean, he spends quite irresponsibly, let's be honest. Just think about his lavish 43rd birthday party, which was attended by pretty much every celebrity out there. His financial crisis is the only explanation for his behavior. Why else would he be charging fans $1,200 for online meet and greets? And that too, after he made $300 million defeating McGregor. I mean, that's just unacceptable. Of course, Mayweather has denied the accusations that he's broke. According to him, he fights not because he needs the money, but because he just likes to make more. Yeah, I don't know about that. There's definitely something fishy here. Anywho, that's how fans have reacted to Floyd Mayweather announcing the heist exhibition tour.